This is the season when we'll be preparing and serving a lot of meals, and that means we'll be spending a lot of time cutting, slicing, dicing, and of course, carving. Now, what's essential for a satisfying culinary cutting experience? Well, sharp knives, of course. The secret to successful slicing, dicing, and chopping is using the right knife and making sure it has a super sharp edge. A dull blade makes food preparation frustrating and can cause a knife to slip. The chef's knife is perhaps the most popular all-round style. The stiff blade is ideal for fibrous vegetables and its extra weight is a real plus when it comes to chopping and mincing. Because a knife is repeatedly making contact with cutting surfaces, the edge can take a bit of a beating. Keeping that edge sharp is key to good performance. Knives come from the factory with a precise bevel ground on the working side. The best way to restore and maintain this bevel and keep the knife factory sharp is with a diamond abrasive sharpener like this one from Edgecraft. The built-in knife grinding system automatically positions and stabilizes the blade at precisely 20 degrees, the standard for American and European knives. Before sharpening any knife, make sure it's clean and dry. For American and European knives, turn the machine on, place the blade in the right slot of station 2, the center station, and pull it slowly toward you. Then make one pull in the left slot. Pulls are always done in pairs, one in the right slot followed by one in the left. The goal in this sharpening phase is to raise a burr or ridge along the entire length of the blade. You can't see the burr, but you can feel it. Place your finger on the side of the blade and slide it across and away from the edge. Once you've detected the burr along the full length of the blade, move to the station on the far right. These ultra-fine diamond abrasive discs remove the burr and polish the cutting edge. To check a knife for sharpness, hold a sheet of paper by the edge. A sharp blade should be able to make a clean cut all the way through. Carving knives are narrower and more flexible than chef's knives. They're ideally suited for slicing meat, especially poultry. The sharp tip is used to cut through hard-to-reach wing, leg, and thigh joints. These knives also have a 20-degree edge angle and are sharpened in the same way as the chef's knives. Lift the handle slightly near the end of the stroke to ensure that the curved tip is sharpened. Contemporary Asian knives are increasingly popular, especially for slicing, dicing, and chopping. However, the factory ground edge or bevel is 15 degrees instead of the usual 20 degrees found on American and European knives. The far left station on the Chef's Choice Sharpener is used exclusively for Asian style knives. Serrated knives are ideal for cutting through foods with hard crusty surfaces. Their edges are similar to saw blades with the tips of small sharp teeth doing the cutting work. These two can be sharpened using the polishing station. To perform at their best, knives need to be tuned up frequently. This can be done easily and quickly using only the right station on the sharpener. Usually four or five pairs of pulls, followed by two pairs of quick pulls, will restore the edge to perfect sharpness. To keep knives sharp between uses, avoid putting them in a drawer with other kitchen utensils. Wash them by hand rather than in a dishwasher and store them in a knife block, rack, or on a magnetic bar. Now you know the secret to getting and keeping a sharp edge on your knives.